How's it going? So got a very interesting video for you guys today. Ugh. This is the Line 6 Pod Go. Now you guys know I am no fan of the original Pod series. I haven't been a fan of the Spider series either. I've been very, very vocal about my complaints with Line 6 products. <laughs> So when they hit me up at NAMM and said, hey, look, we're releasing the Pod Go. This is the new version of the Pod. It's basically got Helix technology built right in. This got my attention because the Helix is the first thing I think Line 6 ever built that I wouldn't be afraid to put on a record. Now, this is basically a micro Helix. Like the HX Stop is already a scaled down version of the Helix. This is scaled down even further. I think you can only run one amp at a time. Oh no, whatever will we do? But it's got a whole bunch of switches to go between your different banks and it's got an expression pedal for volume and wah. I mean, like seriously, how much more do you need? Like myself, I like an amp, maybe a little bit of delay and a little bit of wah and I'm fine. Now I also don't have to play 18 different amps at the same gig to satisfy my own ego one will do. And that's the thing with the original pod, I never ha really had a problem with any of the digital effects, the delays, was any of that. That was fine. My big problem always was with the amp sims themselves because they never quite sounded right. Now, what really caught my interest about the pod go is the fact that they've got models of the rev generator, not only the red channel, but the purple channel as well. That's been requested quite a bit. And I thought, what a better way to do a video than going over all the features, blah, 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 line six. Yes, it does a million things. We all know that. And if you want to be bored to death by a video like that, go check out Henning Polly's channel. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But I thought let's cut the bullshit and shoot this thing out against a real Rev Generator 120 back here. So first up, we're going to shoot out the Rev Red Channel versus the Pod Go. Now to do this, we had Mr. Christian Vey come out to play a little bit of guitar for us. And we're going to swap back and forth between the real amp and the Pod Go. And the idea here is you guys tell me what you think is the real amp and what is the simulation. Now to keep everything on the same playing field, everything's going through this amazing Neve 1073 OPX back here. And it is at, stepped at one dB increments. So I I've got things as level matched as they are ever going to get. Now for recording the pod go, we're coming directly out of this into the Neve with no impulse response added. The Rev itself is coming out directly into the Torpedo Captor X and then into the Neve as well. And everything is processed in post with the exact same impulse response from Lancaster Audio. And that is the real key is the impulse response. Anyway. Let's check it out. Let's check out the Rev Generator 120 Red Channel versus the Pod Go. <laughs> I'd like to thank Mr. Christian Vey for making an appearance on that. Really do appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna go back to the desktop here for the purple channel. And this is the real big one. This is the one everybody's been asking for. You know, the red rev came out and everyone's like, great, great, great. Where's the purple? Because that's what all the metalheads really want is the purple channel. It's been my favorite metal recording channel for the last five years. Anyway, uh, let's go to the desktop and I'm gonna put it on a mix I did with Eric Arco and Jackson Ward. I'm gonna play a little bit of solo and go back and forth and then we're gonna listen to the full mix. Here we go. So I've got my initial reamp with the Rev 100P right here. And I've also got a real-time reamp going on right now into the pot right here. And I don't have a second camera set up. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of uh, wing this a little bit to the best of my ability again, because I'm trying to do a reamp here, but listen to the difference in tone here. Wow. 
That's the real amp. Back on the pod. We'll do this one more time. So when I click this S here, this is when I switch back to the real amp. So there's a bit of a, a shift there. Of course, you know this is the this is my particular amp with its own particular set of tubes in it, and that's what creates the, the uniqueness of the amp. Uh, a lot of it is, is just the tubes, but I'm got to say I'm pretty shocked by just how close that is to the real thing. It's the real thing? No, not at all. But is it close? Damn, is it ever? If I was a guy doing home recording, yeah, I might actually be taking a look at the Pod Go. Holy crap, could I be re recommending a Line 6 product other than the Helix? Strange days indeed. Anyway, I'm going to re-amp this and I'm going to show you guys what's up with the mixes and how it all fits together and that kind of stuff. I'll cut to that in just a sec. At 449 for the pod go, I think this is an absolute steal. Is it an exact match for the rev? Not exactly, but damn, is it ever close. Like I could bring this to a gig and not miss it. The great thing is, you know, if something like this gets stolen, it's like 449 bucks at Sweetwater to get a new one. Whereas a rev generator, if that got stolen, you know, you're gonna be out three grand. So there is that. Now, here's the thing. I mean, like if I was a kid at home looking to get a recording solution that's going to give me great tone with very little effort, I'd probably be looking at the Pod Go. I mean, like the price is not out of reach for a lot of people. It's very affordable. And the sound quality we're getting is really starting to become impressive. I mean, like as far as amp sims go, I think the technology is finally starting to mature where we're having a difficult time telling the amps apart from each other. And this is coming from the guy who's hated on Line 6 for the last five years in video after video after video. Line 6 stepped up their game and I gotta give props where props are due. Like, good job, guys. This is worth putting on a record. If you got nothing else kicking around, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, obviously if I'm here in the studio, I'm going to reach for the real amp first, but in a pinch, yeah, I could probably get by with something like this. Ultimately though, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what you think. You guys let me know what you think is the real amp on the red and the purple. Is it clip A or clip B? Because ultimately it's really up to you guys. And I will do a follow up in a week or two. I will be sure to make an announcement on that as well. So please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell as well so you get notified for when that video comes out. And until then, stay home, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.